Hey guys, as season five open beta comes to a close, I just wanted to talk about like some of the preparations um, I made going into the end of season four before the crafting leak. Um, so here you'll see, you know, I have a wide variety of characters that I leveled up. I put some crappy gear on. Uh, mainly these are all for testing. Uh, rumored changes, you know, things we thought we enjoyed playing as a group. Things I thought I enjoyed playing. And uh, really we've just been running through open beta testing some of these for season 5. So I have my summon necro that I mained. I have the I rush for forges, which was kind of my joke character that I made um, middle of the season. Fire in the hole, which is my typical fire starter. Um, so it has full towels. I rush for forges had uh, pretty much optimized lightning gear, uh, and then my summoner had you know full gear. Support for hire, which is actually dart pack. Um, so we use that you know on and off a little bit, just kind of through cursed DCs and stuff on it and uh, was able to do some tests with dart pack throwaway barb which was just a throw barb um, and need a friend which ended up being just my amazon that's got mavs on there um, it had an ice on there at one point i think i gave that to a buddy um, as part of the beta uh, summoner druid which was pelt melt uh, one character i'm sad that i didn't level more it's a trap so few things I would have wanted to test here. Cobra Strike, Phoenix Strike. Um, there's a fire skill or two there. I've used it as a starter before to go after cows. I think probably has a lot of great, you know, in-game or go mind blast to start with. So pretty, pretty interesting there. Uh, Fist Pumper, which was supposed to be Fist of Heavens. Um, but my buddy's actually doing a lot of testing right now with uh, Vengeance and, um, you know, some of the other Paladin skills. Um, Zeal, of course, always popular. Um, just running through with some of the gear we had on our characters, some of the high runes, you know, had a couple mules. Uh, the big thing that's going to be really nice is when you get to the end of Season 5, you can put some of these stuff in your shared stash to think about, you know, what Season 6 might look like. Um, and the one thing you know is the patch notes always change. And so it's changed a lot from closed beta to open beta now. I'm sure we'll have some patches, you know, early in the season. Um, I have some plans. Uh, some of these characters are involved in the plans. I haven't finalized on what my start's going to be for Friday. Um, but it's gave me some good ideas. Uh, we're kind of talking over as a team. I think it looks like we may have at least two for sure. Maybe a third that'll be playing with us sometime. Uh, what we want to synergize with, you know, who we want to play with. Really, I think we want to get to three with maps going back to players five. Uh, try and get to that, you know, at least players seven drops. Um, think that's how that works. Don't quote me on that. But really excited for the season. Uh, definitely going to spend a lot of time. Don't know how much theory crafting I'm going to do. Probably stick to the meta a lot. Um, you know, start start with one character and quickly expand out and try and get some characters leveled. Looks like uh, 80 is going to be the target point now for maps. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, last season, I feel like, with PESs, uh, Primeval Souls, being a lot of focus for Rathma, uh, it was a lot easier to get Chaos Games to get leveled. Bell is always difficult because Sorceress dies teleporting, or you don't get a group that wants to walk. Um, it can it can end up difficult. I really enjoyed what we were doing at one point when we were PS farming. Um, I was teleporting to Chaos, dropping down a TP, teleporting to Bell, dropping down a TP, going back to Chaos for the D Diablo kill, and then we would go to Bell together and then kill Bell. Um, so that was quite fun. We'll see what the season has in store with some of those materials. You know, becoming a lot easier to get, not needing as many. Um, some new things in the game. I know my buddy found a puzzle piece, I believe it is, uh, what allows you to kind of, you know, do the treasure box or maybe it's treasure piece. Um, so curious to see how some of this stuff plays in. The crafting league is certainly fresh in my mind. Uh, didn't didn't record any content from it, unfortunately. Just didn't have a lot of time. I was traveling and buying a house then, so played as much as I could, but really never made it past, you know, doing some maps and really just cow runs. So look forward to seeing all you guys Friday. Uh, we'll see what kind of character I end up playing. A few things in mind, like I said, you can kind of see on the screen some of the things we plan to test. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But excited to see what changes we have in store and what's going on.